I am here with David Doppel, founder and CEO of Demand Film, out of Australia. Yes, all the way to Malta for the blockchain conference and the launch of Blockchain Island, I guess. That is very exciting. So tell me a little bit about uh, Demand Film. What do you do? Yeah, Demand Film is an online platform, but based in the real world. So we sell tickets, but we sell it to movies uh, that are happening in cinemas. We have a network of two and a half thousand cinemas around the world, and we crowdsource audiences, and we put films in cinemas that deserve to be there that wouldn't otherwise get there. I love it. I always look at the, what they are showing, and. There are so few movies that I would like to, to, to watch that are in the program. I end up going to the cinema anyway because I like the experience, but it is only halfway there. If I could watch a movie that I want to see really passionately, I would enjoy it so much more. And it only happens maybe once or twice a year. So you make it possible maybe every week. Yeah, so at any given time, we've got 500, 600 screenings on sale around the world, probably 10, 15, 20 different films, eclectic, interesting, funny, thought-provoking, but all of them deserve to be in the cinema. And all of them probably uh, have a passionate following. People who are uh, not only looking forward to see the movie, but they tell their friends, hey, come, this really is worth it. And they become uh, the community that supports demand film. Yeah, absolutely. So we, we rely on crowds and the wisdom of crowds to recommend films to their friends, to their family. And that's how we draw people together. And then you create a community for a night and then a screening becomes more than just a film screening. It's an event. In the application, the platform is already live. Isn't that true? Yeah, so Demand Film has been going for a couple of years now. We had other licenses previously, so we've been doing this since 2014. But it's really in the last two years when we deployed our platform first in just Australia and New Zealand, and now in the UK, Ireland, Germany, Canada and the US, that we've got a reach that's you know, substantial and it means that the filmmakers have an opportunity to have their films shown worldwide almost. So what about blockchain? How are you using uh, blockchain or tokens? What are your plans around that? Yeah, so we have a, a loyalty program called a screen cred and that really at the moment is a virtual token. So it exists within the platform. People can earn them by sharing information about films, encouraging others to go. Someone buys a ticket. So it's a classic loyalty program but we've connected it to a real token and probably first quarter 2019 there'll be a transition where everyone who's earning them now will be able to swap them for crypto token on a blockchain which then will be tradable. And uh, so what do you think of Malta apart from the fact that it is beautiful and yesterday we went out had a wonderful couple of bottles of wine it wasn't just the two of us <laughs> and uh, full disclosure I'm an advisor and proudly so to demand film. The, the reason you are here is because Malta is launching the digital ledger technology comprehensive legislation and you believe that it can help your project. Absolutely. So it's the regulatory certainty that Malta has delivered and I think it's first in the world to do this and others will seek to emulate what's being done here. And so we incorporated in Malta in April and have been steadily working towards building a credible product that will be attractive to investors but will be under the umbrella, if you will, of the scrutiny that comes from being in a regulated legislated environment. And, and we're happy to, to have that scrutiny, I should say. What is beautiful about today's world is that an Australian project whose platform is active in Europe and America can actually effectively and efficiently find the right jurisdiction to exist, incorporate there, and you know, you or some of your people may decide to come and spend time in Malta and the Maltese will welcome you, but that is a completely separate thing. In today's world, everybody can and should be able to live and work where they want, uh, while the startups or the corporations that uh, they help exist based on, on, on different choices. The reason why I think this is very important is because it really extends the radius of talent uh, that you can work with uh, to the entire planet. Yeah. It used to be the case that you would send a, a, a classified ad because you need some kind of uh, professional and it would only be for people who already live in the city or are ready to move there. Yeah. 
but that is not how it works today. Is your team already uh, kind of distributed? Oh, yes. We have a physical office in Perth where we have two staff, but our development team are in a small coastal town in Western Australia called Denmark. Our global PR guy lives in Sweden. We have uh, directors in London, Hamburg, staff in Berlin, Wellington, New Zealand, Toronto, Canada, and uh, in, the, in the US, by coastal there. There you go. I also know that a lot of the films that you are screening that your community is demanding have important social messages and you know it is understandable that maybe a Hollywood movie uh, already have the budget and the distribution channels so that they don't need the, the crowd approach to uh, be seen but I think it is very heartening and, 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 and a very positive thing from my point of view that uh, your community cares about messages that have then a positive impact in the world. Yeah so environmental films film called Blue about the ocean. Another one just released in Australia called Rubber Jellyfish about helium balloons and the risk they have for sea life. Envi um, human rights titles, human flow, um, chasing asylum, dealing with refugee issues. But a, a great lot of adventure films as well, sports titles. Dawn Wall about climbing uh, El Capitan. So, and then a film Schnifflerchen, which is a black comedy out of Germany, which is very black but very funny. The occasional zombie story thrown into the mix or a Maori language uh, film. So an eclectic group, they have, they have heart and substance. And I think if you're in the cinema watching them, you have an emotional reaction to them. And I think that we, we look for films that, that really impact. Yeah. So if uh, an independent filmmaker watching this video says, oh my God, I've been looking for something like this for so long, desires for their film to become part of the Demand Film platform. What do they have to do? Uh, send us an email and send us a link to a, a trailer or a sizzle reel, and then we'll have a look and then evaluate the film or, or a project earlier along in its, in its life cycle, from an idea to a pitch to a screenplay to a rough cut as it goes. But um, it needs to be cinema worthy. Right? It needs to be a film that's made for the big screen. And what if uh, they uh, write uh, together with a thousand fans, rapidly demanding the movie to be uh, seen in the screen? Screens, would that help? We evaluate a lot of things. We are a curated platform and we don't have room for everything and we and we look after the films that are on demand film. So we say no more than we say yes. But one of the things we look at is, is there an audience already surrounding a movie and who are clamoring to see it? And we can see that via social media, via crowdsourcing campaigns previously. Uh, it is interesting because uh, basically what you're saying that as a curator, you feel you have the power and you take advantage in some way of that power to make a selection and just like a museum will not put on any piece but a curator will s select and, 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 and make sure that there is an overarching value proposition that is being transmitted through the works uh, similarly demand film wants the world to become something that it hasn't been before through what you do. So that is um, powerful and it, is, it brings a lot of uh, responsibility. Uh, your community will evolve and there will be challenges uh, in maintaining uh, as you become more and more successful in more and more screens, truthfulness to that uh, fundamental proposition. Yeah, we don't pick films because we like them, we think we pick films because we think we can bring value to their release. And I like a lot of the films, but not all of them are to my taste. And we collectively, you know, look at the selections. And we, we've built channels as well. And we have now loyal audiences who have come back two, three, four times. So any really good film that's got life on two wheels with a push bike, we've got an audience because we've done five now. You know, environmental titles, people are looking for them, but they, they at the same time need to be saying something new and something relevant and something now. Um, do you think that uh, you may end up also financially supporting certain productions that come to you in a certain stage of their life cycle and, and you may 
see something in them and when you have the financial ability you would become an executive producer in the project. We have been exec producers on a couple of films already but that's more in the role of a distributor because in many countries the film funds and the government structures require a pathway to market or some kind of distribution strategy to trigger certain other funds. So it's more in that role rather than being a bankroller of movies. That's not our that's not our business and it's not our expertise either. So we 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 are much better at looking at films that are, you know, nearer to being finished and making a call about can we bring value to their release than a pitch and an idea. The ones we've taken as pitches and ideas have been more from filmmakers who we've had other films from and they've come back with a second or a third title and we're familiar with them, we know them, we know the quality of their work, we know what they'll deliver. Congratulations for the platform's success up to now. Good luck with your next steps uh, in Malta and uh, with everything that you want to achieve. Well, we're, we're, we're really excited about the next step and we think we've been an innovative company from the start and sort of pushing boundaries both with technology and how to access audiences and do things in an economical way. I think the, the power of blockchain and the ability to bring transparency and immutability to the record keeping of what we do is important for our filmmakers, but even more than that, the power of having a, a token which says, hey, if you do this, this is a transaction that's valuable to us and we want to reward you for it. You know, at the moment, we spend, many of us, spend money in other social media channels and all of us like sheep are doing all of the things for free in exchange for using that platform and that's the only thing we get out of it. But then someone else is making all the money and what we want to do is say, you know what, if you're going to watch a trailer and tell someone, hey, come watch this with me, that's valuable to us and we're going to reward you for it. I think it creates a real virtuous circle that uh, reinforces an ever-growing community and it will be the basis of a great long-term success for Demandfield. Great, thank you very much, David. Thank you.